The Crappy Quiz on Off The Ball. Brought to you by sportspass.ie. Offering you the chance to win trips of a lifetime in 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See sportspass.ie. Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Lafferty. Are no! you joking me? Is that right? I know. Is that right? Ah. Uh, Anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. <laughs> Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? Bum, 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 bum. We're back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutiest segment on a multitude of platforms. It's the scintillating, stupefying, splendido crappy quiz. And the crappy quiz, it will stay. Because, as teased last week, we have a new sponsor. The Crappy Quiz is brought to you by SportsPass.ie, a unique fundraiser by Russell Rovers GA Club in Cork. Head over to SportsPass.ie, where you can enter a draw to win some truly incredible sporting prizes, including a trip to the Super Bowl. Yes. Woo, come on. Whoa, the, Whoa. the Masters. Oh, yeah. that is impressive. The Rugby World Cup final. The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Mm. Uh, there you go, Shane. Right up my alley. There's something for everybody. And much more. The winner's pack includes flights and accommodation so you and a mate can travel in style as a bonus if you enter in October you're also in the draw for a trip to the DP Tour Final in Dubai that's sportspass.ie the sponsors that saved the crappy quiz now how about you but anytime I enter a competition for an amazing sports prize I, uh, it's sportspass.ie for me now I wasn't in last Friday and uh, believe me I won't be making the mistake of letting Mick McCarthy deputise ever again <laughs> last week <laughs> Broke the all-time record of the longest ever crappy quiz. Clocking in had a frankly disgraceful 49 minutes. It was like watching rugby in South Africa. <laughs> Mick has been reprimanded for his part, but he wasn't the only culprit. Humming, hawing and filibustering was at an all-time high from our three contestants last week. And we've punished two of them by bringing them back this week. <laughs> <laughs> so allow me to welcome today's contestants. Our first contestant proves once and for all that there is no relegation in the egalitarian utopia of, utopia of the crappy quiz. It's kind of like the European Super League. Nobody beats Vitus... Garolitis 17 times in a row. That's a, a Mick joke. That, uh, that it was very niche. Vetus, uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, sadly, the same can't be said of Adrian Huchadati Barry. And yet here we are. Our next contestant has been uh, having a tough week dealing with his bottle job in last week's rapid fire. It cost him not only the glory of three in a row, but also meant his forfeit for defeat was the ignominy of having Tommy Rooney christen his new crappy quiz nickname. Give it up for Will Larry Burr O'Callaghan. Still not sure about the nickname, but I have to walk with shame, and this is the shame that I walk with for now. I'm on board with it. Larry Burr, yeah. I Larry Burr. Yeah. It's like, is it a Larry Bird reference? Is it a Burr and County Offaly? What's the... It's both. They're kind of mashed together. But, mm. I don't know, has Larry Bird been culturally, you know, relevant for a while at this stage? Uh, not, I mean, a little bit in in the, the documentary about uh, the Celtics versus dance. the Lakers, but uh, only tangentially in the last dance, isn't he? But his name yeah. sounds like Burr, so that's all that matters. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. Right, he's, okay. in the, he's in two episodes. Is he not a serial winner? I mean, I was going to say... Well, best players of all time, but like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mick mm. saying that Demir when's the last time Burr were culturally relevant. Oh, oh, well, 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 they're getting the county final back next year, but only for one year. Monday, so only for Monday, one year. When was that Monday song out? That's really, that was the last Four-time time. Four-time All-Ireland champions, you know. Just a okay. small matter of that. Our final contestant tonight is making his crappy quiz reappearance, his first one since his, uh, assuming his new role as co-host of OTBAM. The only member of today's troupe that made it to Kilkenny for last Friday's Imro Radio Awards. He was last seen raising a freshly poured gin and tonic in farewell to his departing OTB teammates at around half past three. A few hours later, back in Dublin, munching down sausage rolls and taking talking sport on national radio with Don Juggan and Larry Burr. In a world without heroes, thank God we still have Shane, the Monaghan Machete Hannon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all those out there. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it took a certain level of steel and, and bravado to come in the next day. Did you wear the sunglasses? I didn't actually. Do you know what? I felt, I felt grand. Did Considering you? I was smoking cigars and drinking at half three in the morning. And two hours later, you're outing everyone else who was yeah. smoking cigars. This is it, exactly, on, on the airwaves. But um, no, someone had to do it. Someone has to step up and be that, be that guy. Don't take the day off. That's the, that's the easy way out. So uh, enjoy the Emeralds and then go into work the next day. What was Owen's uh, line about that? You may as well be hungover and miserable in work as hungover and miserable at home. That true. Was, uh, that was always his, uh, that was, uh, his line from uh, Japan. It made the cut. Anyway, right, OK. <laughs> They're like, who is he talking about? Who's that guy? <laughs> the Queen is dead. Long live the Queen. 
Right, as ever, the format's classic crappy quiz with a series of questions on a range of themes. Then it's on to the slip and slide trivia, the rapid fire round. You can podcast the crappy quiz on otvsports.com or on the OTV Sports app. And if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you click the thumbs up. Just give us any kind of interaction. That's all we ask for you, even if we contribute nothing but misery and pain to your day. Please send any questions you have to us via postcard to the crappy quiz, quiz master off the ball towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2. Our uh, laminated Rice crispy box of last week, we got a more traditional postcard of Mizzen Head from Johnny Scanlon. Good man, Johnny. Uh, Mick left the postcard at home, and so therefore none of your questions actually made the cut. He used them as inspiration, he says. So if some of the questions sound familiar to the questions that you sent in, Johnny, fair play to you, but uh, we very much appreciate it. They're all past the parcel of Doom Round suggestions, which is excellent. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Well, it's Wolf, Wolf Tones tunes, I That's presume. That's the type of stuff. The, uh, <laughs> I can, I, I, Shane Hannon. He would win. He would like. Know. He knows them verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> All of Will, are you a secret wolf toner? Oh, a secret wolf toner. I think I'd be lost after one or two songs, but. Uh, or two never... songs. One or two songs. All you need. <laughs> they have a sold out Olympia gig coming up in a few weeks in Dublin as well. It's, uh, it's like they're they've never been more culturally relevant. Mm. Are they not shy? Uh, oh, they have a few good. Uh, there's a great song called James Connolly, which pays tribute to. That's not about hey, who, yeah, man. who's that? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's one of my favorites. The, the, the fourth uh, hurling brother from Galway who didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe's a twin. Um, yeah, and there's no 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 um, controversial references in, in the James Connolly song. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. And ah, the Wolf Tones have some. <laughs> and suddenly you're like reviewing so all the Wolf really, Tones yeah. songs, going, "Oh, that bit actually. Yeah, oh, bad. hang on a second. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't realise that. They were leaning that way. All right. <laughs> Thanks also to Kean Johnson for help with this week's quiz. Uh, round one, the boring question rounds, never multiple choice. Question one for you, Adrian. Who is the most capped international rugby player of all time? This is your sport. It's a wine and cheese question, Owen. Or Adrian. Fair. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, bum. Just scribbling down a few options here, Jared. It's good that you don't have the laptop in front of you. Well, I've got you a know? phone here, so if I, I need to I Google. expect you to get a, f- a flat zero this week. <sighs> <laughs> it's that low level cheating that just kind of keeps you in the game That's the, that, now that it's gone from you so I'm just trying to figure out if it's uh, an all black beautiful mizzen head of course on the, on the Jar, I'm just trying to figure out if it's an all black I mean, I, no giveaways from I'm, no giveaways I'm an excellent poker player oh Mom. I've been told to move on right? we don't have 43 um, minutes this week we've got another show coming up at half 11 oh. our time and then in the next hour on the radio I go with I mean I really hope it's not that one but I go Dan Carter Richard McCall. Alwyn Jones. Alwyn Jones. 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 Still playing. 70 caps, yeah, fair point. Question one for you, Will, even though that's not the order, but anyway, maybe it is the order on screen. No, it uh, makes... Oh, okay, yeah, okay, we're anti-clockwise on screen. Question one for you, Will. What country's made the final of the Men's World Cup most often? The final of the Men's World Cup of most sport. often. Like Football. Teams. There's really only one World Cup. No, no. There is. Do it for Burr. The original, the best. The, it's the Rugby World Cup or the Hockey World Cup or... Mm. Burr's the coldest town in Ireland. Oh, the golf world. Really? Hey, hey, dad joke, and he's not even a dad. <laughs> it's just turned into dog, dog guys <laughs> all over again. Um. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'll go Germany. Correct. Oh, God, I so will. I would also have taken uh, Germany slash West Germany. I would not have accepted well, There's only West about Germany. three or four answers you could have had there anyway. So well, a nice multiple choice question there, Will. Yeah, eight eight times is the... Anyway. Uh, who's the only Donegal footballer to win Footballer of the Year? Shane? <clears throat> Say what you see. Say what you see. Don't overthink it. What's the, what did they say in that game? <laughs> what game is that? <laughs> Say what you see. It's uh, catchphrase. Catchphrase, catchphrase, yeah. Okay. Ooh. I grew up in two-channel land. Roy Walker. Very good for me. Turns out, not having uh, any is great one. TV channels to scroll through. Mr. Chips. Doom scrolling is uh, good for the brain. Or not. Come on, Shane. I don't want to go for the obvious answer, but I'm going to have to. Cause what you see, Come on. Uh, Michael Murphy. No. Carl Lacey. Carl Lacey. Carl Lacey, of course. White boots. White boots. White boots. The white boots in uh, 2012, obviously. Ah. It is. It is. Yeah, it, uh, he obviously had an, an outstanding season. Um, yeah. Michael Murphy did, like, you know, have a brilliant season also. Brutalised Mayo in mm. the first few minutes of that game. <laughs> Goal, game over. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Like, I couldn't not go for Murphy because if, if, I, if I hadn't, then it was him. I mean, not Footballer of the Year. I mean, it's a bit harsh in the end. So, Will won, Shane and Adrian on uh, nil. Round two, the Wikipedia list round. This game is simple. I will list from Wikipedia in order from first to last the clubs a footballer has played for. And all you have to do is guess the footballer in question. The first person to do so will win the point. There's one major rule. To avoid the complete carnage of a guessing free for all, each contestant must state their own crappy quiz name before guessing a player. 
We have Who's Your Daddy, we have Larry Burr, and we have Monaghan Machete. I will also accept the Monaghan Machete. Are you out, Jer, if you make a wrong guess? No, you're back in. You're back Once in. that round, you can't one guess, guess sec- for a second time. One I'm guess per club yeah. named. Free Failure free to say your name okay. eliminates a contestant from the whole round. Oh, harsh. So if you forget your name and you don't do it properly, we kick you out here. Right? You kick you out. What do you have? Kicking out. Question two for whoever shouts your name first. <laughs> this is not carnage. The uh, first player started their senior professional career with Ajax. Who's your daddy? Patrick Clivert. He then moved to AC Milan. Who's your daddy? Yeah. Clarence Edorf. He then moved to Juventus. Larry Burr? Not Mark Van Basten. He then moved... Mana Machete. Larry Burr. Mana Machete. Um, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He then moved to Barcelona oh, on loan. Larry Burr, it's Edgar Davids. Edgar Davids. <laughs> The rest of that career would have been Inter, Spurs, Ajax, Crystal Palace, and he finished his career at Barnet when famously he went oh, on. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's the Soccer Saturday thing called? I'm Michael fucking Davids. Soccer, Soccer AM. Soccer AM, yeah. Or was it Goals on Sunday? It's Goals on Sunday, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I was just repeating it. You're allowed to do it. Before you are I'm busy emailing the BAI. I was, like, I, I was literally reporting. You can go and check the rules. I'm allowed to do that. He said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the rules. Mm. Wolf Tone uh, said it. It wasn't us. Yes. Uh, <laughs> question two for whoever shouts their name first. The second player started their senior professional career with Norwich City. He then moved to Coventry. City. Uh, who's your daddy? Yeah. Robbie Earnshaw. No. Nope. Larry Burr? Yeah. Is it Darren Huckerby? No, it's not. He then moved to. <laughs> he, it's not. He then moved to Newcastle United. He then moved to Celtic on loan. He then moved to Blackburn Rovers. Uh, who's your daddy? Yeah. Chris Sutton. No. He then moved to Liverpool. Larry Burr. Yeah. Craig Bellamy. Craig Bellamy. Oh, cr- absolutely, Craig Bellamy. And then, oh. and then West Ham, Manchester City, Cardiff City on loan, back to Liverpool. Mm. Craig Bellamy was my next guess. Who mm. brought him back to Liverpool? Was it was it Rafa? Rafa, I think. The second time. On loan, I think was it. No, uh, it was at Cardiff and then went back. Didn't went to Cardiff and then yeah. to Brendan Rodgers. Well, I don't know. Really? And then moved back to Cardiff. That was a long, a long and storied career. And, yeah, um, good career. Yeah. Uh, last one here. Will is streaking away, guys. Mm. Question two for whoever shouts the name first. This last player started their senior professional career with Mets. Who's oh. your daddy? Yeah. Christophe Dugarry. No. He then moved to Marseille. Uh, who's Harry your daddy? Go on, Didier Deschamps. No. Eric Cantona. No. He then moved, went on... No, this is not. He then he then went to Arsenal. Who's your daddy? Yeah, Patrick Vieira. No, Larry Burr. Larry Burr. Larry Burr. Larry Burr. Robert Pierce. It is. It is. It is. Ah, yeah. Piss off. Correct. Piss yeah. off. Yeah. This one's just I'm just a little bit uncertain there about how this one's just, just you know. Just, uh, anyway, okay. Yeah, we're moving on. We're we're. I feel like once you guess, you should be gone. I don't understand why you don't jump in? Like, what are you hanging? What are you waiting for? <sighs> The right answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, in both of our cases, Shane, there. We any any answer. Yeah. Clean sweep for Will. Just like uh, OTB ah. at the Imros. It's uh, 4 0 nil, nil. What was everybody else doing for the last 12 months? What were they doing? What, did, they not, did they not have a, a single good effort uh, and entry that they could scratch together? What was going on? Hey, OTB Live gave good. OTB a good run. That's they right. did, yeah. 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 All good entries, Jar. All good Shots entries. Fired. Uh, from from here, anyway. Uh, round three, the pass the parcel of doom round. In this round, all you got to do is give me the name. It's on a list of names I have, and the parcel of doom passes onto. This is okay. You know what the uh, pass the parcel of doom is, right? You say a name, you keep going, and then eventually uh, somebody loses or wins. Uh, question three: Adrian, then Will, then Shane. Any player in the eighteen man match day squad for Ireland's World Cup qualifier against France in two thousand and nine. I'm presuming this is the one in Paris. This is Thierry Henry, handball, players in the 18-man match day squad for Ireland's World Cup qualifier against France. And the order is Adrian, then Will, then Shane. Uh, Richard Dunn. Dunn. Paul McShane. McShane. Shea Given. Shea Shevin, yeah. Kevin Gaban. Kevin Gaban, left back. Uh, Come on, killer. Kevin Doyle. Uh, correct. Shane? Oh, sorry, it's me. Um, Glenn Whelan. Glenn Whelan, yeah. Uh, the, the blood's starting to flow in the ears. Come on. Uh, Robbie Keane. Robbie Keane. Robbie's like, what is Did you forget about me? What? Come on. Damien Duff. Duff, Duff, left wing. Yeah. It's a good team. 
A bit random in parts, but good team. Um. Come on! Noel Hunt. Uh, Noel Hunt. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not being funny, but if you're going to, if that comes into your head, what are you going for him for? Uh, who's well, after well, Shane? It's Adrian. Yeah. Uh, you've thrown me off now, and I'm very tempted to there's go. No there's no pressure. There's no. There's a lot of pressure. This next answer isn't. Just, uh, he that's was all a it. big favourite, so I'm sure he was there. Oh, but was he? Come on, Stephen Hunt. Stephen Hunt, correct. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> Is Ford the sub goalkeeper? Mm. Joe Murphy. Joe Who's Murphy. next? Joe Murphy on the bench. You won the oh. point. Oh, I'm, that's job done. Job done. Stephen Kelly. Stephen Kelly, I would have taken. Was Matt Holland there or was he gone? Matt Holland's gone. gone. Uh. Like, the starting team? Who's at right back? Um, no. McShane was on the pitch when the. Who's our, who's our right back? Ireland footballer. Played for Manchester United. Oh, John O'Shea. John O'Shea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. Who's the other centre back? It was Perrin O'Shea. <clears> um, Trap favours. Oh. Sean said Ledger, you're never going to get it. Oh, Ledger, yeah. <clears throat> centre midfield. Former colleague of ours. Keith Andrews. Keith Andrews. Yeah. Keith's like, lads, what are you doing? And then uh, Liam Lawrence, maybe yeah, unexpectedly, yeah, on the bench. Yeah. 98 caps for Ireland or whatever it was. Still playing with Hibbs. Aidan McGeady. Ah, the main man. Uh, you got Hunty. Stephen Kelly, you said that. Uh, Darren Gibson and Leon Best was also on the bench. So that's the 18-man matchday squad for the Republic of Ireland uh, against France. It's me off the mark, yeah. Yeah, fair play. This what, is what, a lo what a lovely French team it was. <laughs> Question three for you. Uh, Will Shane Adrian is the order for this one. Top 15 gold medal winning countries in Olympic history with the combined summer and winter. Ooh, um, Russia. Uh, Russia, I will, I will take Russia ah, as no USSR. <laughs> United States of America. Oh, hang on. Whoop, Sorry. Hang, hang about. On. Hang about, hang about, hang about. Hang about. We're going to call it the uh, top 14 gold medal winning countries where the USSR uh, is no longer an option. You've said Russia, because Russia is separate to the USSR and uh, they are both on the list. I don't so. know what happened there, but cool. I said USA, so. Will Shane Adrian next? Canada. Ooh, Canada. Mm. <laughs> wow. yeah, the Winter Olympics. Yeah, I've got loads more here. You don't. You don't. It turns out you don't. Every year, like, come on. Lads. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just reading the list off Wikipedia. Yeah, are you maybe, sure that's right? Maybe, maybe correct. Maybe incorrect. Okay. I'm absolutely incorrect. And so, uh, from the first that's round, research done didn't make it out of the first round, Adrian Barry. Too busy taking your victory lap. I after mean, the, like, uh, there's. Come on, Will. China. We're going to take China. We are. Um, Norway. If Canada are not there, Norway's Norway is correct. So wow. did you say Norway is correct? Of course it is. Winter Olympics. It's the top 15 gold medal winning countries in Olympic history combined summer and winter. How are Canada not there? Good question. I don't know. Not enough people. Too big, too much. Oh, land. oh, oh. Hang oh, about. Hang about. Is hang they're about, back in. Hang about. Ah, lads. Live of course there is. Oh, VAR. It's all stops. Ah, oh, stop, lads. We've, uh, we've gone to the referees in New York and they've said, what a bunch of clowns. How about that bunch of clowns? Yes, it is, Mick. Yeah, they're the last name. Well, Canada are in it. No, no, step okay. away, step should, away from should, the referee. Should, Let him make his mind up. Should be, saying. should be Canada. Congratulations, I'm you're back in, I'm baby. Back in the game. It's okay. We didn't actually miss any round there, so well, Will, I'm not sure Shane, that's technically Adrian. true, but uh, you. Next to me. I just said Norway. So it's Adrian. Yeah, he, so it's you again. You got to go again. Um, okay, I've got loads more. That's uh, like, I, like, these, like I said. These countries here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, GB, of course. GB. Yeah. 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 Yeah, TV. <laughs> oh, what a shambles. What uh, an absolute shambles. Mino, but... Australia? Oh, by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> Gold medals. In Olympic history, combined summer and winter. Okay. Kenya. <laughs> no. It's unfortunate. I'd say they probably didn't win until like the 60s or 70s. Yeah. Gold medal in Jamaica? No. Mm. No. Not even close. 
If I'd have said Japan, how would we feel? Yeah, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we would have yeah, yeah, yeah. Will wins again. So the ones you were missing... You're walking away with this, Will. The ones you were missing are Hungary... Ah, uh, yeah. Japan... East Germany... Ah. Uh, would we have had to? Because Germany would have been my guess next. Would we have taken Germany for East Germany? No, because I also have Germany on the list. Okay. Mm. Uh, which was my earlier well, screw-up way, saying, oh, Russia, USSR. So I should have taken USSR as well, but we had to take that off the list. Sweden... Italy, France, and Germany. It's very skewed by the Winter Olympics, by the sounds of it. Uh, How are Jamaican not in there? Can we, can we, can uh, we double check that? So well, the gold medal. team didn't get multiple goals. Well, gold medal, well, gold medal. I mean, I've already had one successful VAR appeal here. No, 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 you only get one, one of the it's it's a yeah, coach's yeah. challenge. and like you yours. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, right. The final one here is... Any player who started in either of the Munster Heineken Cup winning finals. Ah, oh, the power of nostalgia when Munster were good. Shane, Adrian, Will is the order. Shane first, Adrian second, Will third. Shane first, any player who started in either of Munster Heineken Cup winning finals. Um, Raj. Ronan O'Gara, number one on your list. Okay. Stringer. Um, Stringer is second on your list. Alan, Alan Quinlan. Alan Quinlan. Shane? Um, David Wallace. David Wallace is going to be on the list, if I can just... Yeah, there he is there. He's knocking him off my list. Go on. Yeah, Adrian? Uh, Paul O'Connell. Paulie, yeah. Dennis Leamy? Leamy, yeah. Just give me a second now when I find Leamy. Is there a second page of this? No. Where's Leamy? There he is there, yeah, OK. Um, John Hayes. John Hayes is going to be correct, if I can just find him off the list. Yeah, Adrian? Donica. Don't you? Yeah. Dungeon Callahan. Flannery. Fla, yeah. Uh, Frankie Sheen. Ooh. Ooh. No. Ah, oh, Jesus, I'm having a mare. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Foley. Anthony Foley's correct. Jamaica were 39th, by the way, Adrian. Not even top, close uh, to top 15. Whatever. <laughs> Try Keith Earls. Uh, for that second final. Keith Earls did not start. <sighs> All right, so... And Anthony Horgan. You would have got Anthony Horgan, yeah. Were Pucciarello? No, I don't think Pucci started. I think he was on the bench. Anyway, points in the bag, Mick. Don't worry about it. Points in the bag. Let's do the rest of them. Sean Payne. A champagne, yeah. John, John Kelly. <laughs> That's the first thing you've heard. Another dad joke, yeah. No, <laughs> like that was his name, nickname, Champagne, of course. Yeah, that suits him. Uh, Trevor Halstead. Ian Dowling. Oh, yeah. Marcus Horan, Dennis Hurley, Doug Howlett, Rua Tapoki, and Tomas O'Leary, I would also have accepted. He didn't do very well there. One, oh. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven out of them. Mm. I've done it right. Two points for me there in that round, Jerry. I think you're fine. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. Uh, Will Can on five me? is in the lead by three from Adrian, who's on two. And then Bring nul, up point. The rear. nul point. Yeah. Round four is the fun free magic number round. Contestants get three points for getting the number correct. If nobody manages that, the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust will get two points and the second closest will get one point. Again, we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper. You have to put the pens down when Frank Sinatra stops singing Bright Shiny Beads. If you don't mind, give me the following number. The number of Olympic gold medals that Ireland have won. We are not troubling the first page are we, of... No. Are we, are we not? not? <laughs> we're, not, we're not in the top 15. Excluding... No, but... Uh, count, are we including... count our winter Olympic goals, yes. But no, including every gold medal that's been that's I been kept know. that's been kept by the owner of that said medal. Atlanta. We're not including those medals that are they No, you have to include them, they still count. <laughs> Number, no, it's not. What it's not, it's not, not. I, I could I could lip sync and his, I was his, very angry but I enjoyed it. His his question is, are you They can listen there's to a lot of saying. like there's a lot of Italian okay. gestures going on in the there. number of Olympic gold medals that Ireland have won. Did we? Yeah, so we? regardless of what happened thereafter. <laughs> You're thinking about the wrong issue there, Mick. He's wondering about Michelle Smith. He's in with the horse. Oh, okay. Uh, we're, we're doing a pat in this. We're counting everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I mean, I'd like to protest to my own quiz here. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, plus the number worn by Kevin De Bruyne at Manchester City, uh, plus the number of All-Stars won by John Milan, Plus the current world ranking of the Republic of Ireland women's football team after we beat the Scots. Ah, balls. 30 seconds expire and Frank Sinatra sings bright shiny beads. As ever, all numbers are plucked from Wikipedia. And the world rankings. Ooh, 
Okay. Ireland Olympic golds, including the ones that we don't really want. The number one by Kevin De Bruyne at Man City. The number of stars won by John Milan. All stars. World ranking of Ireland's women's football team. Right. Tiny beans. All right. Pens down. What have you got? I got 57. What have you got? 56. What have you got? I reduced down to 43. 57's correct! Come on! Get out of three back in the game! Come on! Much needed. So, three... Zero. No, three, one, zero. You don't get two for getting seconds. No. All right. Sickening shame. See, I knew the... I, I knew trying the to steal an extra little point there, which, you know... I knew the rankings very confidently, which really helped. It was 21. Generally, generally the brain power at this hour of the, uh, of the day is not great, so you could... Oh, it's 3-0. Three 3-0-0. Zero. Three yeah. zero zero. Only right. Thank you, Mick. No, it's fair. Thank you, Mick. Fair, yeah. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, great shout. Uh, I agree with that, Rude. Contestants get three points to get in the number exactly right. If no one manages that, then ah. the nearest contestant doesn't go bust gets two points. Yeah, that's good. I'd say we were sneaking in extra points all over the years when everybody... Mm -hmm. yeah. That's fair. Yeah. But there's a new sheriff in town. And he's back with his six... Anyway, right. Uh, uh, the answers. The number of Olympic gold medals that Ireland have won? Ten. I would have said 14. It's 11. I thought it was 11, yeah. So we got there. It's 11, yeah. Four. Inadvertently. Oh, really? Nick was getting angry thinking, no, the, the rowers count as one. But actually, you weren't asking about that at all. The, what did you say was one? The, the rowers count as oh, one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Love when per, you get there. Per yeah. event. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, it's good that you were getting angry about it, though, Mick. You know, it's very reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> totally rational. <laughs> the number worn by Kevin De Bruyne at Manchester City is 17. Yeah. We all knew that, right? No. Got that. Yeah. 10. The number of all-stars won by John Milan. I've got this wrong. Is Matt's wrong? Three. I, I, Five. Five right, stars. Right, right. Fair play. That's like a, 24. That's like that's all time great territory, you know? Yeah. Which maybe you forget about, but five all stars. They're, you know, nothing to be sniffed at. And then the uh, current world ranking of the Republic of Ireland women's national team is 24. And so the scores will be written on my credits. Five, three, two. There you go. Uh, so Will is on five. Shane's on three. Shane's on three. Adrian's on two. Now onto the final round. The. Uh, no theme in particular. Ridiculously easy rapid fire round. The score you get in this round is added to your score in the previous round. There's 40 seconds for everybody to answer from the same set of questions. In the still temporary, slightly fairer twist, the question will now be asked in rapid rotation with each of you getting one question at a time. Delaying of any kind will be treated swiftly as a wrong answer. And you'll be deducted a point. We'll move on. We're starting with the person on the lowest score. It says in my script, it's hard-coded, it's tattooed in. Adrian Barry. Well, that's what it says. Anyway. And then on the next lowest... And second uh, last week, and up to that round until he fluked into the right answer. And nothing fluke in there. Okay. Yeah. We'll no. continue on. Explaining it is. One point for a correct answer, one point deducted for an incorrect answer. Your 40 seconds starts now. Who is the Irish men's 100 metre record holder? Paul Hessian. Uh, Israel Olatunde. In what country does Amber Barrett play football? Germany. In Germany. What team is currently top of Serie A? Will. Napoli. What team did Dublin manager Desi Farrell play for, Adrian? Athena. How many games have Munster won in this season's URC, Shane? One. Who did Josh Cullen play for before Burnley, Will? Anderlecht. Who won the Kildare senior football title on Sunday, Adrian? A tie. Nice. Barcelona drew 3 all with who in the Champions League this week? Inter Milan. Correct. Who is the Limerick hurling captain? Declan Hannan. Correct. Who topped Ireland's qualifying group for the Women's World Cup? Adrian. Sweden. How many European Cups have Leinster won? Three. Four. Minus a point, which yeah, probably, probably probably is done for you. I think it's maybe it already was. Uh, God damn it! Eight five two. Eight five two. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it matters. Up on two there. I got like I only right, answered three wrong. questions and I got two right. Uh, a couple yeah, wrong though. Was get, there? You get deducted a point for every yeah, wrong answer. So if I got two right and one wrong. So well, what, well, what well score done. did you start on? Two. And minus I got one. Two right. Minus one is one, and then two right is three. Did you get two right? Anyway, it's... You did, and Athena was correct. Uh, no, you got a tie fight, wrong. Fight, got fighting, wrong. fighting to you get two an right, extra two point. Uh, yeah, you, got, you got an extra... You got an extra uh, Will got a question less. So the rapid fire is still... Is, what did Hannah end up on? Uh, play the music. Five. Play the music. You got loads. I got a tap in there with your Inter Milan Barcelona. I got a few right. I got a few right. Germany Sunday. Amber Barr plays a football in Germany. Napoli are top of Serie A. And Afina Desi Farrell won game for Munster in the URC. Jesus, that's what he's doing. Anderlecht, Josh Collins, correct. Nace won the Calais in the football title. Inter Milan, Barcelona, 3 all. Declan Hannon, Limerick hurling captain, Sweden did beat. And uh, four European Cups, not that was too quick, lads. We've, we've probably got 20 minutes to play with. Chased Jason off last week. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 49 minutes last week. It was probably, that's probably 29, maybe. I don't know. Well, no congratulations to everybody resources. involved in, uh, in this being the only a tiny little bit of a shit show. 
Yeah. Oh, well done, Will. Fair play. Ah, nice look. Uh, yeah. I, I think it's good Burr. that we can be we can be big about our mistakes and get VAR involved. That's how VAR should work. Yeah. It's like you know, no, no. I think fair, that no threw foul. me for the rest of the quiz, George Bell, because I was so sure it was right, and I was just I couldn't get my head back in the game, which I appreciate is a bad reflection of me, but also on the producers. Well, I was going to say psychologically, what was it? What mentally weak? What was it? Yeah, um, mentally lazy. Mentally lazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the fact that I had to struggle. To... He was awfully impressive in the rapid fire. Oh. You know. Sport pass are already regretting yeah. their investment here, Shane, with yeah. those yeah. I don't even have any kids yet, and I'm, you know, I'm already preparing myself for He that. didn't even get it. He just thought you were said awfully. Oh, I did. Awfully. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I don't know why Shane's rambling on about not having kids. Okay. <laughs> dad jokes, dad jokes. Oh, sorry, 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm not qualified right. to have dad jokes. The ad break will save us all. See you next week. The Crappy Quiz on Off The Ball. Brought to you by sportspass.ie. Offering you the chance to win trips of a lifetime in 2023. Terms and conditions apply. See sportspass.ie.